Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I want to get in Christmas spirit today because I'm just doing uni work all December, reading and preparing my project and my exams and whatnot. So Christmas is not usually a very festive time because it's just very tainted by stress and work. Um, but I still think that I would just talk a little bit about zero waste holidays and how to make your holiday more green or eco-friendly and whatnot because it's really really simple it's really really simple um, but you just need to think about these things prior to participating in holiday festiveness so yeah I have collected five tips that I think are quite important all of them so the first thing that's the most important thing because it's something that uh, you know makes a lot of waste it's a lot about consumerism it's the, the bad but the presents that you give to others and the presents you receive should somehow reflect your values I think so I only give secondhand or homemade or in any way DIY or consumable Christmas gifts I love thrift shopping so why shouldn't I do that for others and people are so happy when I give something secondhand to them because it usually means that I've picked it out personally, specifically for them and it's not something everyone can go down in the same store and purchase all over again. So it's a bit more personal I think but you can also find stuff that isn't available in you know the stores around you. You can find things that people brought home with them from Spain for instance and then they decided to give it away and then I can give it to someone. Um, so secondhand gifts is something that I really, really encourage people to do. In terms of gifts, how you wrap your gifts is also extremely important, I think. Because think about how much trash is created wrapping gifts. You know, it's just, I get so upset and so sad when I see how much is wasted, how many resources are wasted wrapping things so you can tear the package open again. I think it's it's, it's kind of stupid actually. Um, so what I do, either uh, if I have a newspaper lying around, I use that instead. And then I don't use any tape. Um, you can use a bit of string for instance. I have some canvas string that I usually use. You can decorate it with, you know, some greens and whatnot. I have a post about this down below so I will link it so you can check more out about zero waste gift wrapping. Woo -woo. But also you can just wrap your gifts in a canvas bag and then they get the gift and the canvas bag, which they can use to buy things without a plastic bag. Which I think is a pretty nice and subtle way to say, please stop using plastic bags. And then you give them the opportunity to do that instead of just pointing fingers and saying, you should, you should go ahead and find a canvas bag. Then you give them the canvas bag, then they have the tools to do what's right. Oh yeah, we're getting political. In terms of food, because when you think of the holiday season, you think of presents and you think of, you know, family and friends and just loveliness. But you also think of food, let's be real. And food is awesome. Let's be real again. But something that I've found is very easy to do. It's very easy to make it zero waste or at least it's very easy to make it more sustainable and more green. Is exploring vegan holiday foods, which is, to my astonishment, super easy to do. What we eat on Christmas Eve is roasted pork belly, we have some red cabbage, we have several dishes with potatoes and we have a brown gravy. Um, usually also pe sometimes people get duck, sometimes people get both pork and duck. Um, but what I've found, because I know most people think this tastes amazing and when I ate meat I also thought it was amazing and of course the flavour I still think is good but I've realised that you know, the meat flavour is very dependent upon the side dishes. Um, I had a rehearsal Christmas the other day where I made all the side dishes and of course I made them vegan and I made the gravy vegan as well because usually you'd put the fat from the pork or the duck into the sauce and I obviously didn't do that because there wasn't any meat. Uh, and it was so good and I ate until I felt bad <laughs> and so did my boyfriend. It was awesome and I... have I'm, I'm really encouraged and motivated to do this on Christmas Eve as well. It was just such a nice experience for me to know that this is actually quite possible and you can easily have the amazing Christmas dinner and the nostalgia and the, the festive mood and everything without having the meat. 
it's not that crucial. And if you think, oh, it, it, it'll be crucial to me, then just try it, have an open mind and just try. In terms of food, save your leftovers. It's such a you know normal thing to do, but I've just been in touch with uh, the app Too Good To Go. It's something in Northern Europe where you can buy uh, rescue food from restaurants that would have been thrown out. It's perfectly good. You save money, they save money, everything's fine. But they just shared some graphics that uh, only one third of Danes save their Christmas food and use their Christmas food leftovers, which I think is really sad. Um, so obviously this is something that needs to be articulated and said. Again, just remember to use your leftovers. And also to get to go mentioned that what you could do actually, which I think is a brilliant tip, is use December to clear out your freezer so there is room for more Christmas leftovers. These are my Christmas tips and I hope that this video wasn't too unorganized and rambly and whatnot. I'm very excited. Also, I'm just getting on vitamin D, so I'm a bit speedy as well. Ha ha ha! But I hope that you really liked this video and if you did, leave me a thumbs up and you can also leave me a comment and tell me what are your tips for a more sustainable Christmas. I would love to know. And of course, you can always follow me on my social media. Every link is down below. Also to my own blog, giddymary.com. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!